Hi guys, my name is Ruby Priyev. I'm a physician associate here. My specialties include interventional uh, nerve blocks, trigger points, and joint injections. You know, whether it's trauma or stress or the environmental or lifestyle really, um, or even something mechanical or chemical, uh, you can have some type of inflammation. So um, through burns or even uh, through medication, sometimes people can be allergic um, and can cause a specific type of inflammation that's different from more of like the blunt injury. Uh, but mostly what we focus on is, is more like the, uh, the injury aspect to it. What we have for long-term inflammation is what people are more focused on uh, because long-term inflammation can cause the effects that you don't want and short-term inflammation is what you really do want but you want to make sure that it kind of settles down after that initial uh, injury. And the chronic inflammation is usually what happens when something that there's a process mechanically but the body then recognizes it to be their long term and it starts to kind of degrading the cells and degrading the, the tissue that's supposed to be helping. So when we talk about chronic inflammation to a specific joint, a common one would be a shoulder. And specifically I see it a lot in um, you know, patients of around the age of 40 to 60 when they have uh, a long term shoulder pain. And the problem is that they really feel scared to use that joint. Um, and that's actually bad because the in initial inflammation that happens already subsides and then the tendons itself and the ligaments themselves are not really affected with blood supply. They're pretty much avascular um, and they rely on movement. They rely on having some type of resistance. And because of the person or the patient not using the affected painful joint, um, and it's like a whole cascade of then more inflammation starting when the patient actually does want to use it. Um, and then it feels that it's more painful and stops using it again and it's like a whole process on and on and on when we really should be focusing on uh, you know, strengthening the joint initially from the first standpoint of the injury um, and provide that stability to be able to um, support its own structures and the person itself being able to uh, do their own active daily living. So what happens is over time the ligaments and tendons or joint structures will start to slowly atrophy. One example of this would be what's called adhesive capsulitis that happens most commonly in the shoulder. There's an initial pain and the patient avoids using it because there's a re really limited range of motion. Um, and once the patient has that and they're really you know, afraid of using the joint, it actually gets you know, worse and the pain starts to settle in and becomes chronic after that. One way to avoid chronic inflammation is to keep a kind of healthy lifestyle, focus on your posture control, to lead an active lifestyle uh, where you get you know, a good amount of exercise. And then really, if you have an injury, make sure to get that checked out because we wanna make sure that it's in the right stage of healing and it's going towards the right pathway of recovery and you don't want it to become to a chronic issue. In this practice, we see patients with uh, muscular or orthopedic complaints. We do different modalities of physical education, uh, physical therapy. We do uh, chiropractics to kind of manipulate some of the joints. And me specifically, I focus on uh, trigger point injections for muscles. The idea of doing trigger point injections is really to break that plateau of recovery. They're not getting worse, but they're not getting better where they could be. And we can find that kind of solution by doing a trigger point injection to release that, that muscle that's very tight or that, that pain that they're experiencing so they can then further uh, increase the recovery or, or do more steps in physical therapy or more exercises in, in physical therapy.